Hey, happy to see you. So we're still waiting. Do you ever think about books you read as a kid that helped frame how you see the world? I'm going to read you a little something from one of my favorite authors, Richard Bach. It's from his book, Illusions, and they're talking about manifestation. To bring anything into your life, imagine that it's already there. Like what? Like my lovely lady? Anything, not your lady. Something small at first. I'm supposed to practice now? Yes. Okay. A blue feather. He looked at me blankly. Richard, a blue feather? You said anything, not a lady, something little. He shrugged. Fine, a blue feather. Imagine the feather. Visualize it. Every line and edge of it. The tip, V splits where it's torn, fluff around the quill. Just for a minute. Then let it go. I closed my eyes for a moment and saw an image in my mind, five inches long, iridescing blue to silver at the edges, a bright, clear feather floating there in the dark. Now surround it in golden light if you want. That's a healing thing to help make it real, but it works in magnetizing too. I surrounded my feather in a gold glow. Okay, that's it. You can open your eyes now. I opened my eyes. Where's my blue feather? If you had it clear in your thought, it is even in this moment barreling down on you like a Mack truck. My feather like a Mack truck, figuratively, Richard. All that afternoon, I looked for the feather to appear and it didn't. It was evening, dinner time, over a hot turkey sandwich that I saw it. A picture and small print on the carton of milk. Packaged for Scott Dairies by Blue Feather Farms, Bryan, Ohio. Don, my feather! He looked, shrugged his shoulders. I thought you wanted an actual feather. Well, any feather for openers, don't you think? Did you see the feather all alone? Or were you holding the feather in your hand? All alone. Huh. That explains it. If you want to be with what you're magnetizing, you have to put yourself in the picture.